Hi everyone, um, with the new software and firmware available, there's a couple of new functions that I wanted to show you, specifically about uh, actually tuning a room. So let's get into it. I've got a DBX RTA microphone connected to channel 3 at the moment, and on the player, I've actually loaded a pink noise from audiocheck.net. And that'll give us a pink noise output. I'm connected the speaker system to the left right output. And in settings page, one of the important things to do is to actually set the channel RTA on master GEQ to on. Now, let's play the file, and you'll probably hear that coming up in the background. Right now, that's on channel 3. Make sure you've got the RTA channel on nothing here. I've got obviously gain and level coming into it, but no RTA going back to the master. Okay. What we will see, uh, obviously, is some information coming through the RTA. So if I look here on the channel 3 itself and turn the RTA on, you can now hold RTA as well to see how changes to the EQ would change the RTA. That's quite easy. Uh, but what we want to do is now click on master and you'll see the RTA here is on a different color and that is actually the RTA of channel 3 that we're looking at, not the master output RTA. So. We've got an issue in the bottom end, obviously, as you can see here on channel three, there's quite a lot of bottom on here. Uh, so if we click on the master side, we start to bring that down quite a bit, probably six to 10 dB, I would say, right? You can even hear it in the background starting to, and we wanna, tr we're trying to get at least something resembling a more flat response in this situation and different situations are you're going to have different ways of doing things but in the room I'm in obviously there's a lot of issues on the 50 60 hertz with the speaker system that's in there okay now if we reference that to back to channel 3 you'll see that's a lot flatter than what it was before and that means your room is going to be reasonably flat. That means that your mix is going to sound better as well in certain situations. Again, it depends what you're trying to achieve. You may want more lower end, but that's one way of doing it. So RTA on channel three, nothing going to the master output. Otherwise, you'll get feedback off the RTA. And then settings page, local, graph channel RTA on master GQ to on. And then obviously we can then see that RTA on both. If I click the RTA of the master output itself, that's going to be different now. It's an inverse basically. But you actually want to look at the channel 3 RTA exactly what it is. Hold it. Go back to master. And I can hold this here as well. Then I can click the master. And that shows you the difference between if the master RTA going out compared to the actual current RTA from the speakers themselves.